So mechanical power, past, present, future. Uh, as we talked about earlier in the segment, you know, this was a mom and pop shop for a long time. Very small, privately owned, family owned business. Uh, over the years, some growth. And, um, but it, it hit kind of a lull there for about five years. Sales were extremely consistent year on year. We were struggling to grow this business. Uh, new segments, additional customers in, in historical segments for the business. So when I came on board, what I wanted to do was, number one, understand who do we serve today? Why do we win with them? Can we win more with them? And where else do we want to grow? And what we did five years ago was essentially re-educate our legacy customers on who we are. I think a lot of them thought we were just a bearing company. And we re-educated them to understand, again, the multiple categories that we can service them in. Castings, forgings, fasteners, assemblies, weldments, um, shivs, pulleys, you name it. So our, much of our organic growth has come through that re-educational exercise that we did with our incumbent customers. Uh, we've grown a lot of customers that we had five years ago to a much higher level. We've also supplemented that with many prospects in different industries as well as industries we were prior uh, familiar with. Um, and we've also targeted different growth segments that we want to go after. Specific applications, specific types of parts, our core competencies, and we're going on the aggressive with those prospects and, and frankly putting a lot of good marketing material together to help them understand how we can help them in those areas. Um, previously, marketing was handled outside of this building. I made a, what was one of my, my better decisions here at Mechanical Power to bring that in-house. So the wonderful guy sitting behind the camera, uh, the marketing manager has assisted us with that. What we did there was bulldoze the old website. Uh, what I wanted was bees coming to the honey rather than us desperately going to the marketplace for business. My background is purchasing. Um, Purchasing and salespeople historically and, and consistently don't get along very well. Um, it's very hard to convince purchasing and engineering organizations to move from an incumbent to mechanical power. The types of products that we sell, very demanding, a lot of validation required to get them into production. So again, back to relationships, you need to know people. We had an outside sales force, we no longer do. We basically do it in-house. We utilize a couple reps. But we're doing a lot from a marketing perspective to bring people to us. You know, SEO, search engine optimization online. Um, our online presence has gone from the floor to through the roof. Um, so when you Google mechanical power, you Google any of the types of parts that we sell, uh, we're going to show up and we're going to be right there with companies that are much larger than us. And as a result, we've seen a lot of new business opportunities from that. And based on the strong team that we have here, we're able to translate those opportunities of people coming to us into new business relationships and into more sales. Um, so we're very proud of that here. So again, past, you know, mom and pop going out to the marketplace, present, more people coming to us, additional growth. Future is again, more targeted growth. Right kind of customers, they need to have pain. Uh, they need to have quality issues, delivery issues, or just getting raked over the coals from a pricing perspective in order for us to help them. Uh, those are the kinds of people that we're seeking. Um, we are getting more involved in automotive, uh, but historically and presently, agricultural applications are a big part of what we do to the tune of 50%. Um, one comment I'd like to make, this is a very diversified business in terms of customer spread. We're not heavily or excessively concentrated with any one customer. Our top customer is 11% of our sales today, and we love that. Uh, Jim Dorn, Doug Zweiner, the history leadership, um, they wanted no customer, no supplier, no employee to be able to take the company down. So in each of those categories, we are nicely distributed if that makes sense, and we're not uh, overly saturated uh, with, with any customer, industry, or supplier. So we want to maintain that. But our, our goal is to go from 7 million to 14 million where we're at today, to 25 million to, to 40 to 50 million. That's the future of mechanical power. Um, and we're having a lot of fun in the process of making that happen.